English Story Times, Book 44, Story 15. The Old Cruise Ship. Line 1. This family was most likely, this family was most likely on the steps of a cruise ship, on the steps of a cruise ship a long time ago, a long time ago. This family was most likely on the steps of a cruise ship a long time ago. Question, when and where, when and where was this picture taken? Was this picture taken? When and where was this picture taken? Well, this family was most likely on the steps of a cruise ship a long time ago. Line two, the quality of the picture, the quality of the picture, coupled with the style of the woman's clothes, coupled with the style of the woman's clothes, leads me to believe, leads me to believe, it didn't happen recently. It didn't happen recently. The quality of the picture coupled with the style of the women's clothes leads me to believe it didn't happen recently. Question, what factors lead you to believe? What factors lead you to believe it didn't happen recently? It didn't happen recently. What factors lead you to believe it didn't happen recently? Well, the quality of the picture, coupled with the style of the women's clothes, leads me to believe it didn't happen recently. Line three. Speaking of cruises, speaking of cruises, you have to watch your weight. You have to watch your weight going on a cruise, going on a cruise. Speaking of cruises, you have to watch your weight going on a cruise. Question, what do you, what do you need to watch on a cruise? Need to watch on a cruise. What do you need to watch on a cruise? Well, speaking of cruises, you have to watch your weight going on a cruise. Line four. They have six full spectacular meals a day. They have six full spectacular meals a day. So overeating is guaranteed. So overeating is guaranteed. They have six full spectacular meals a day. So overeating is guaranteed. Question, why is, why is Overeating guaranteed. Overeating guaranteed. Why is overeating guaranteed? Well, they have six full spectacular meals a day. So overeating is guaranteed. Line five. I'm telling you this from experience. I'm telling you this from experience. Because when I was much younger, because when I was much younger, I went on a cruise, and I went on a cruise, and put on two and a half kilos in a week, and put on two and a half kilos in a week, and I'm not bullshitting, <laughs> and I'm not bullshitting. I'm telling you this from experience, because when I was much younger, I went on a cruise and put on two and a half kilos in a week. And I'm not bullshitting. Question. How is, how is this verified? This verified. How is this verified? Well, I'm telling you from experience. Because when I was much younger, I went on a cruise and put on two and a half kilos in a week. And I'm not bullshitting. 
Okay, line six. But if you have some, but if you have some self-control with eating, some self-control with eating, then go on one. Then go on one. But if you have some self-control on eating, then go on one. Question. If you have what? If you have what? Then a cruise is no problem. Then a cruise is no problem. If you have what, then a cruise is no problem. But if you have some self-control with eating, then go on one. Line seven. Everyone deserves the experience. Everyone deserves the experience. At least once in their lives. At least once in their lives. Everyone deserves the experience at least once in their lives. Question, what does, what does everyone deserve? Everyone deserve. What does everyone deserve? Everyone deserves the experience at least once in their lives. Line eight. A cruise could turn into a bad time. A cruise could turn into a bad time. If there are rough seas, or if there are rough seas, and it rains a lot, and it rains a lot, a cruise could turn into a bad time. If there are rough seas, and it rains a lot. Question, how could a cruise, how could a cruise turn into a bad time? Turn into a bad time. Well, a cruise could turn into a bad time if there are rough seas and it rains a lot. Line nine. The Titanic's maiden voyage, the Titanic's maiden voyage was a doomed cruise, was a doomed cruise never to reach the USA, never to reach the USA. The Titanic's maiden voyage was a doomed cruise never to reach the USA. What is the famous doomed cruise? What is the famous doomed cruise that you know of, that you know of? What is the famous doomed cruise that you know of? Well, the Titanic's maiden voyage was a doomed cruise, not to reach the USA. Your goal is 65 seconds, so here we go. This family was most likely on the steps of a cruise ship a long time ago. The quality of the picture, coupled with the style of the women's clothes, lead me to believe it didn't happen recently. Speaking of cruises, you have to watch your weight going on a cruise. They have six full spectacular meals a day, so overeating is guaranteed. I'm telling you this from experience, because when I was much younger, I went on a cruise and put on two and a half kilos in a week, and I'm not bullshitting. But if you have some self-control with eating, then go on one. Everyone deserves the experience at least once in their lives. A cruise could turn into a bad time if there are rough seas and it rains a lot. The Titanic's maiden voyage was a doomed cruise never to reach the USA.